Here we go. Game four, World Series. Yankees up six to four. Top of the seventh. Mark Leiter Jr. is in the game. The Yankees batting against Will Smith or pitching against Will Smith. Curveball high and inside. One up. Mark Leiter Jr. through four games. Only four innings pitched. He's given up one run. That's a curveball. That's in the zone. One one. Will Smith hit a home run in the fifth, a solo shot. Made it five to three at the time. I think the Dodgers got one more that inning that Austin Wells hit a bomb in the past in the past inning to make it six to four. As Smith takes an outside ball, outside one for a ball, two and one. Three and one, outside splitter, he spit on it. And Will Smith is one pitch away from walking. And that um, nine hitter for the Dodgers, that's Tommy Edmond. Tommy Edmond will be up as the game time run. Fire fires, inside sinker for a strike, three and two, full count. It looked like a ball to me, but blue does what blue does. Full count. Smith strikes out on the curveball. That was toward the outside. Corner of the zone. Tommy Evans up and he swings and misses the low curveball on one. That one call, that one three one call changed the at bat. That's an inside cutter. It's low, one and one. One and one, Larry fires, Evan shows bunt, it's a low splitter, two and one. Lighter Jr. 2 and 1. And a fire to the lefty Edmund. High curveball 3 and 1. Lighter Jr. doesn't seem like he has it. But then again, he did strike out Will Smith at a full count. So. Probably shouldn't be talking. We'll see. And Edmund walks. Cutter outside. Now bring up Shohei Otani as the game time uh, runner. The game time run, I should say. 6 4, top of the seventh. Boone is not coming out yet. He's one, Shohei's one for three with a single in the fifth. And that's a splitter in the zone, 0 1. Really good pitch from Mark Leiter Jr. Shohei can tie this game with one swing of the bat. Everybody in this stadium and on this and on these baseball teams knows that. Shohei was going for it. He was late on an 86 mile per hour cutter. He'll call time. 0 and 2. Double play is open here. Yankees have turned a couple of those this game. Otani has a homer in his last 24 at bats. Wider Jr., 0 and 2, fires. Going to check on the runner at first, didn't get him. Fingers up. 
Outside splitter, one and two. Otani spits on it. One and two. Shohei. Wyatt Jr. fires. He went and been safe. Ball gets away from Volpe. And Edmund steals second to take the double play away. That's a huge steal. If they pitched out, I believe. I believe it was a pitch out. But Volpe, it wouldn't have been on time either way if Volpe caught the ball in this blow. But. 3-2, low splitter toward the dirt, full count, one out, Edmund checks behind to see where Volpe is, warming up in the pen is Luke Weaver. Three two. big pitch here, Flyer Jr. fires, Otani fouls it back. Byer Jr. has thrown 17 pitches so far tonight. Otani still battling. Full count. One out. Dodgers are one for five. Bars in scoring position. Yankees are two for ten. With one of those being that Volpe Grand Slam. Otani swings and misses in a low splitter. Two outs. That's the second strikeout of the night for Mark Lauder. He He's looking like he will strike out the side. As he said, there's going to be a mound visit here, actually. So a low splitter. Good pitch by Lauder Jr. And Otani was just early. And that is the end of the night for Mark Leiter Jr. We'll be back as Luke Weaver comes into this game. If you're on the We're back. Luke Weaver in the game. The Yankees closer up to face Mookie Betts. Mookie, Mookie um, is one for three. Had a double down the first base line earlier tonight. As Weaver throws outside, that's one out. Mookie is the game tying run here, so Weaver is in a big spot. Four for six this postseason in save opportunities. 12 two thirds innings pitch, three earned runs, and a strikeout to walk rate of 12 to one. 10 games he's played this postseason. For pitch. Well, we were fires. Mookie fouls that away. It was an outside cutter. It's one and one. Weaver. Bet swings and misses at the outside fastball. One and two. One and two. Weaver fires. Betts, did he go? Did he go? He did 
cannot go. Two and two. Ball was outside. Two and two. Big spot here. Two and two. Weaver fires. Swings and misses at the high fastball. Mookie goes down swinging. Luke Weaver gets out of the jam. And we head to the bottom of the seventh. Still a six to four Yankees with Weaver with a coming in for a big strikeout. Yankees trying to extend their season for another day. Here we go. Bottom of the seven. Six to four Yankees. Who's in the game for the Dodgers? Because 
Fastball in the corner of the zone. Not called a strike. 2 0. Challenges stamped with the inside fastball. He swings, but it's a foul away. 2 and 1. Outside slider, 3 and 1 on Stanton. Matt, try not to give up another home run this inning. Landon Mack, full count for 3 1. Fire Stanton. That's right at Teoscar. He gets it deep and left. And the Dodgers quickly make work of the Yankees in the seventh. And we head to the top of the eighth, due up. It's Freddie. I want you to imagine waking up tomorrow. Weaver is going to come up to face Freeman. Weaver is facing Freeman. Here we go. Top of the eighth. No help. Freeman leads off. And Weaver fires a fastball for a strike, going one. Ready in a two run bomb in the first to open up the scoring. Home one here for fires, that's in the dirt. One and one. This is a safe situation. Luke Weaver is coming in to get seven outs. At least I think. I don't know if they're, they're going to have somebody warming up in the bullpen after Luke. He fires that Freddie go. He didn't go. He, went, he, he thought about swinging at a changeup that was low. Did not fight. Forward. Two and one. Weaver fires. Freddy swings and misses at a low changeup in the exact same spot. Two and two. He swung over. Two and two on Freddy. Weaver fires. Freeman. That's not going to get out. Judge is under it. One out. He skied at the center. And it was a pop up. Up comes Oscar. Whoa. Jesus. Righty on righty, Weaver fires, cutter for a strike, 0-1. Oh and 2 Teoscar late to the party on that fastball that was inside, and Weaver is up in the count. Big pitch right here. Oh, two. We heard. Teoscar fouls it off. Weaver fires. It's an inside change of low one and two. One two, Weaver fires. Teoscar grounds that into Austin Wells. Wells took a hard hit. He's up and he's going to be fine. 
Where'd that get him? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man, that got him in the balls. Like at the bottom part. Oh, that part gets. That part of the testicles is, is the worst part to get hit it's the most painful. Wells took it like a man. A big, grown, strong man. One, two. Tasker waves at the changeup. That's another strikeout for Luke Weaver. Big swing and miss right there for Luke Weaver. The Yankees are four outs away from taking a game in this World Series and starting the road to a comeback. Up is Max Muncy. High fastball, one up. Weaver inside fastball for a strike, one and one. Did he go? Oh, they call it a strike anyway. One and two on the outside basketball. Once he didn't go, he was shocked by the call. This New York crowd getting ambitious, getting rowdy. That's low and outside, two and two. Two and two, two outs. Huge pitch in this game. Weaver delivers. Got him! High fastball, got Muncy swinging. Three outs away from taking this game are the Yankees. Three outs away from ending a sweep possibility. Brett Honeywell grounds the first pitch to Freddie is Rizzo. As Honeywell is now in the game, and Freeman flips to Honeywell, who covers the bag, one out. Visit stand-up-to-cancel to find out how you can help today. Representative Shamas Ricard presented stand-up-to-cancel with $5 million donation and possible by the town of Sun Online Orders of Friday and Saturday. Anthony Volpe, who has been in the stands. Volpe shells bunt. Fouls and ends the stands. It's a very interesting to see. We have a grand slam in game one that led to three in a row. Freddie Freeman's shocking, but not surprising. Ability to deliver. And a grand slam in this game for the Yankees to see what they can turn that into. Honeywell fires. It's a slider in the dirt, one-on-one. -on -one. It made it shocking when you consider how Wolfie had looked. Yes. Yes. I mean, this game, for a lot of Yankees, if they hang on, they feel better offensively. Fastball down, 2-1. Well, we thought I was going, didn't go. Honeywell fires. Did Volpe go? The answer is yes. Two and two. Two and two, Honeywell fires. Volpe swings and misses the low slider. Or did he not? Did he foul off? I guess he fouled it off. Even 
touched the ball. Sold it. Sure did. Sent the bell. Wow. That didn't, that didn't look like it touched the ball. Oh well. And he singles. Oh, he's going for two! He's out! He's out! No, he saved! The ball kicked off his glove. They had him if he just held on to the ball. Yeah, Volpe knocked it out. That was a dot of a throw by Teoscar to... Who is that? Gavin Lux. And Volpe just knocked it out of his glove with his hand. So he has a double. There he comes Wells. Wells fouls it off. There's a screwball. Youngest Yankee catcher with a World Series home run, Austin Wells, 25 years and 109 days old. On one, Wells, Honeywell fires. Low fastball, one one. Outside change up, two and one. So you didn't go up because of filming the rush and people say, hey, I see him. This is clearly months in a man's dash. Hope you second one gone. Honeywell steps off. Thought about going after Volpe. Two and one. Honeywell fires. Outside change up three and one. That's a strike fastball. Outside bottom corner of the zone. Full count. Honeywell fires. Wells pops it up. Smith is in foul territory. And he... Oh, he missed it! Will Smith missed it. It was still in play and he couldn't get it. Full count. Honeywell. Fires. Didn't go. It's a walk. Wells walks. He's on the first base. Up comes Alex Verdugo. Hit the two-run homer last night. See what he can do tonight. All right, Verdugo, the nine hitter, one for three tonight. Double play is available here. That's a strike to Verdugo. It's a fastball inside the corner of the zone. Only one. Two Message spread to the Yankees' 
Honeywell steps off. Being really worried about Volpe at second. There's a... Volpe steals third, Wells steals second. It's a double steal. A huge one at that. And now the sack fly is in play. Shit, it's ten. <laughs> there is so much dirt on Volpe's uniform. Oh, no. 0 oh, 2 on Verdugo. Honeywell needs to strike out. Verdugo laces that one foul. He'll see another. One and two, outside screwball. One and two, Verdugo laces a change of low for, for a foul. He's still alive. Infield's in. Honeywell fires. That's inside slider. Two and two. Honeywell fires. Verdugo laces another one foul. The battle continues. And this is a really big battle because this could put the ball game away. Spike Lee's here. Nervous times. The Yankee Stadium. Two and two. Verdugo, that's foul. That would have been a line drive home run if he just straightened out the swing. Verdugo fouls another one off. This is the 10th pitch of the at-bat. Honeywell fires. Verdugo fouls off another. He'll see an 11th pitch this at-bat. Labor, the top of the order, is next. Honeywell fires Verdugo, grounds that. They're going home with it. He's safe. Volpe safe. Anthony Volpe speed beat Will Smith and his tag. The infield was in. Lux fired over to Smith. It was an outside throw, and Volpe was there. It's seven to four Yankees. Wow. 
that kind of athleticism and speed. Well, that's game changing speed right there with both of them. So, two Labor's up. That's a slider that's down. 1 0. Torres comes into this game with a 12 game on base streak. All 12 games they've played in this postseason. They're open for today. We'll begin to drink of water. And Glaber fouls a slider away, one and one. Eric Lewis really said from the beginning that this team was different. We had that opening weekend in Houston and saying they were different then because it started before spring training when half of the team showed up in January to start their work. One and one. Glaber hits that one deep and that's out of here! Glaber puts this ball game away! 10 to 4 Yankees! Glaber was 0 for 4, he gets one here. A three run bomb! And it's the second homer of the postseason, and they're going crazy in the Bronx! Glaber puts the ball game away, and he just sent the Bronx into a frenzy! Wow! Oh man, and he knew it was gone too. It was a no doubter. It was a no doubter. No doubter. Honeywell regrouping. There, he's gonna face Soto. Outside fastball. This ball game is basically over. Soto fouls a fastball off, one and one. Three home runs in this game for the Yankees. The Green Sun from Wolf Heat. They've been, all the Yankees' three homers have come from guys you wouldn't expect to hit homers. Glaber, Volpe, and Wells. That's what the Yankees need for the next three days, or the next three games, as it's two and two on Soto, and the Al the Alex Verdugo battle to get Honeywell's pitch count up is a big reason why Glaber home. Because Honeywell's probably really freaking tired right now, but he he eats innings. That's how they that's how the Dodgers beat the Mets. Honeywell ate some innings in in their second loss. As it's a full count on Soto. Honeywell fires Soto, pops it up, Will Smith back, it's in the stands. Soto rounds that one away. We'll see another. Full count on Soto. Dodgers need this out. They're, they're trying to keep the bleeding down. And, oh, that's off the home. He fires. He fire. He's pumped up. He's fired up after getting hit in the yeah, fucking face. Robert said he did not want to use his high leverage guys chasing a deficit. So two runs down in the eighth inning, letting this game get away. Soto rips one in the right field. That's down the line. Soto digging to second. Here comes Mookie with the throw. It's a double for Juan Soto. That was right down the middle, and Glaber crushed it. He was on time for it, and he crushed it. They were throwing beers all over the place. There's popcorn being thrown around. 
Glaber sent that place into a frenzy, man. <laughs> Ten runs, most by a Yankees in the World Series game since 1978. Game five versus the Dodgers. Well, he said Judge is beginning close and closer. Here's Aaron Judge. Over oh, two. He fouls a fastball away. Oh, yeah. oh and one. That's an that's a outside slider. One and one. Oh, Judge hits one that's down for a hit. Teoscar with a nice grab. Here comes Soto. And it's 11 to 4. Judge with an RBI single. Listen to the crowd. Right down the middle. And Judge knew it. What a pick by Teoscar to get it in. Honeywell screams into his glove. That's a seven run lead for the Yankees now. Five spot in this inning. Jazz takes a strike. Judge steals. That takes away the double play. Honeywell fires. It's an outside changeup. It's 1-0. Sorry, two and one. Mine says warming up for the Yankees. Yeah, you don't really need Luke Weaver anymore. Whoa, Jazz almost got hit. He loses the helmet. I feel like Honeywell's going to hit somebody and they're not going to like it and it's going to get chippy. That's just my gut feeling. 3-1 on Jazz. Ooh! Fastball outside for a strike. Full count. See the wide strike zone. Talk about it. Jazz pops it up, slams the bat in frustration. Teoscar is back pedaling. He gets the out. And finally, there's another out in the bottom of the eight. Two outs. Finally. Holy shit. Somebody was playing Blood Walk by Rich the Kid. That must be Stanton's walk-up song. Honeywell fires to Stanton. Outside, or sorry, inside slider. Geez, I'm having a rough night. 1-0. Oh. 
Another good postseason. Six home runs, 14 knocked in. Stanton goes after a fastball, 1-1. One, one. Rain's starting to pick up again. Strength a little bit. Our producer Pete Chester from yesterday. It hasn't rained all month in New York. And then today, I want it all for the Reeds. 2 1 fastball. Actually, comes down pretty good. Stanton goes after a high slider. It's popped up. Walks. Gets the Dodgers out of the inning. But the Yankees blow it up. They blew it open thanks to Verdugo, Volpe, Duh, Soto, Judge, and most importantly, Glaber. Him that three run boom boom to put this ball game basically away. We'll head to the top of the night. 11 to 4 Yankees. Tim Mays is in the game. 0 and 1 on, I don't know who it is. It's uh, Kike. And Kike grounds a sinker for a foul. 0 and 2. Kike grounds the sinker away again. Still 0 2. Sets up this matchup for tomorrow. A repeat of game one, which uh, and Jack Flaherty and Garrett Cole are going to be on the bump tomorrow for game five. Case it fires. It's a low fastball. One and two. Six and now five, but. Had a chance to clinch against the Mets in Game 5. The Mets kind of did this, bludgeoned them the force Game 6. Dodgers push, but then responded, won it the next game. Two and two. Dave Roberts is super aggressive with his relievers. Uh, he just wants a good start from the beginning of the game from Jack Flaherty. And I don't think he'll let Jack go deep unless they can score. Warrants it. Full count. And the flip side for Aaron Boone, he's going to need Garrett Cole to be Garrett Cole because he wants to shorten the game, use his strength, and of course, score some runs. Kike grounds that for foul. All oh, Kike's bad to show. Difference is this time he's got Juan Soto on his side when he fished in the World Series in 2019 in Houston. Soto's a 20 year old doing big things for the Nationals. Homer against him in both his starts. Kike grounds that. Volpe with a sliding stop. What a stop. What a throw to first. Anthony Volpe with another defensive gem in the ninth inning. In a blowout. Unbelievable. Volpe has probably been the Yankees MVP tonight. Has the dirtiest uniform. Been sliding around all night. Hit the grand slam. Was a menace on the base paths. Yeah, first player all time with four plus RBIs and two stolen bases in a World Series game. He is easily the Yankees MVP tonight. Chris Taylor's in the game. We're getting Volpe chance, I believe. Low sinker. One and oh on Chris Taylor. 
I'm gonna dig into some glazed donuts. Taylor hits it up the middle. Flavor's there to throw him out. And the Yankees are one out away. It's taking game four. Will Smith takes a high fastball for a strike. High and outside in the zone. Almost. Last chance for the crowd to do the roll call and cheer on their team. That's an all I was coming. Fastball that's in the zone. It's called a ball though. This is gonna have a Coliseum type feel. Yeah, and the same look, the same form is gonna be. See if you can get through that first hit. And they have it the last couple of nights. Smith fouls it away. One strike away. First title of full season since 1988. Remain a little away. Outside sinker, two and two. Will Smith hits that one to center, Judge is under it, and the Yankees live to fight another day, 11 to 4. Yankees win, and they win a World Series game for the first time in 15 years. How about that? They are not dead yet. Anthony Volpe, game MVP for the Yankees. How about that? That man was insane tonight. Do we see a reverse sweep? Do we see a reverse sweep? I'm not ruling it out. I believe this game has lit the fire in this Yankees team. I think they can come back. But hey, who knows? We'll see how they do tomorrow. Jack Flaherty versus Garrett Cole. See how it goes. Thank you all for watching. RV out. Peace. We'll see you tomorrow for game five.